We have here another gas law problem, but of a somewhat different kind. Let's visualize what we're doing here. Water is a liquid that exerts a vapor pressure. And this is an illustration of Dalton's law of partial pressures. Dalton's law says that P total equals the pressure of nitrogen plus the pressure of water vapor. Well, the total pressure is 0 0.9 Seven, nine, nine, seven, sorry, 977 atmospheres. And that equals the pressure of N2 plus the pressure of water, which is 27 torr divided by 760 torr per atmosphere. So the pressure of nitrogen becomes 0 0.961 atmospheres. N, as in a previous example, equals PV divided by RT equals 0 0.961 atmospheres times 1.38 liters divided by the familiar value of the gas constant R times the temperature, which is 300.0 Ks. And that equals 5.39 times 10 to the negative 2 moles. So we've had to correct the pressure of a gas collected over water for the water vapor present in that sample of gas and having done that, we can then directly apply the ideal gas law to produce the number of moles of gas we have collected.